the Devon Novice Hurdle next. This is a three mile and three furlongs, I think it said. Novice Hurdle. Well, it seems an awful long way for Novice Hurdlers. Three miles and three furlongs, and there's not a very big field, unsurprisingly. The top one is by Royal Decree for Joshua Sutherland. Captain for David Hooley. Breakout for Leon Van Rensburg. Southwark Sociable for David Robertson. Heartbreak Hotel for Paul Rhodes. Hyacinth Calapa, Darren Thompson. And Madame Jeannie for Craig Allen. So, three miles, three furlong, novice hurdle. Away we go, then. This probably the longest hurdle race of the season. There was one three mile, two furlongs earlier on, but if there's been one. This far, there may have been a three and a half mile, I'm not sure, but it's anyway. You don't get many this far, and um, certainly not for novices anyway. Heartbreak Hotel is the leader from Captain in second. And we we'll know these pretty well by the end of this race, I would think. We've got three greys, and they get to the first of the 14 flights, and Heartbreak Hotel is in the lead from Captain in second, and a gap of Probably four lengths to break out on the rail in third. And they get over the second. And by Royal Decree and the Civic Sociable. Hyacinth Calapa and finally Madame Jeannie. So Heartbreak Hotel then clear. By a good two and a half lengths to Captain in second and Breakout in third. And Hyacinth Calapa and by Royal Decree the Great. And another grey behind that one, Southwark Social Board. And another grey behind that one, Madame Jeannie. So the three greys to the back. And Heartbreak Hotel clear in the lead. Drew it into the third and gets over it nicely. Good jump by Captain and a good jump as well by Breakout. We never did find out whether Leon Van Rensburg was a swing out sister fan. Or as we ever will now, so we get to the fourth, and over that one they go. And they are well strung out, these with Heartbreak Hotel clear in the lead. Oh, Captain second, and Breakout third, past the winning post, then two more circuits to go still. So an awful long way yet for these novice hurdlers to travel, and they're going along in the formation like they're on the way to the start at the moment, but it's Heartbreak Hotel in the lead. Leading by five to Captain in second. Breakout is third as they jump number five and Breakout once again jumping really well and every time he takes a takes a flight, picks up a length on Captain. And it's Heartbreak Hotel, they've got to keep their eye on the moment because they don't want to let this one get too far in front. As we've seen plenty of times this season that if you let the leader get too far in front they don't always come back. Break Hotel leads by five. To Captain in second, who's three lengths up on Breakout as we see them racing towards the next couple of flights of hurdles, and we'll see if Breakout continues to make ground in the air. Once they get to it, let me drop that one. Okay. And you can see the jockey on Heartbreak Hotel just taking a bit of a tug, doesn't want him to go too far ahead, I don't think, as they take the seventh. Again, they all drop that nicely with Heartbreak Hotel still in the lead. Captain second, Breakout third, Boyer already creed four. Then Hyacinth Calapa, Southwark Sociable, and Madame Jeannie. So, all the top stables represented just about in this. And Heartbreak Hotel's in front. Captain second, Breakout third. Boyer already creed four. Then Southwark Sociable, Hyacinth Calapa, and finally Madame Jeannie. Towards the final mile and a half now. Heartbreak Hotel takes the eighth. All over it well, they feel beginning to bunch up now though. With the exception of it, Heartbreak Hotel, who's still got a four length lead. They take this flight that'll be the final flight on the next circuit. And they race up now. Past the stand, and we've lost them for a second. Have a look at the concrete post instead. 
and it's Heartbreak Hotel in the lead past the winning post then with one more circuit to go and Captain in second so we don't look at that concrete post second time or more next time round and miss the finish but it's Heartbreak Hotel that'd be good wouldn't it three, three more three four long ways we miss the finish looking at a concrete post but it's Heartbreak Hotel in the lead on Captain in second and Breakout third then Barroll Decree is fourth and so that Sociable Nexus they get over number ten and Maybe going to start thinking about starting to race in a minute, but it's still Heartbreak Hotel bowling along in the lead. From Captain second, Breakout third, Bowler or Decree fourth, who's now starting to creep up on the outside and one or two now getting into position to make their challenge. And Heartbreak Hotel will be trying to repel Raiders and stick on in the lead. Captain is second. Or already Cree now third, breakout fourth. Just the potential there for breakout to get himself trapped in if he doesn't watch it behind Captain with Bon Rordy Cree holding him in as they come to the eleventh. And they're all safely over that one and now they really are beginning to bunch, but Heartbreak Hotel is still five lengths clear and suddenly Bon Rordy Cree and Madame Genie have come through with breakout as well. Captain's dropped away over the third last they go and it's Heartbreak Hotel in the lead, but now here come the challengers and it's Madam Genie on the outside, Bon Rordy Cree on that one's inside, on that one's inside is Breakout, now all of a sudden it's virtually four in a line as Heartbreak Hotel is collared by Madam Genie. Madam Genie takes it up, Breakout's going to move into second, Bon Rordy Cree just looking a little bit one paced, trying to run on again is Heartbreak Hotel, they're coming down towards the second last flight then now, and it's Madam Genie in front, suddenly gone too clear, and Madam Genie is going well in the lead from Breakout and Bon Rordy Cree, then Heartbreak Hotel who's now looks to be plodding along, but it's Madam Genie who's clear by four. Four. Breakout now trying to challenge, and then goes by Royal Decree. But Madam Genie's got first one on these now, and has only got two more flights to take. Skips over the second last, gets away from it well. By Royal Decree and Breakout are having a battle for second, but that's all that's going to be because Madam Genie is surely only going to jump this final flight, and she gets over it and gets away from it well. Breakout is trying to close. By Royal Decree's got nothing left, but Madam Genie has stolen this one and up towards the line, eased up. Madam Genie takes it pretty comfortably from Breakout in second. By Royal Decree, it's got to be third, then Heartbreak Hotel fourth, Civic Social after that, and then Hyacinth Calapa, and Captain was pulled up in the straight. So, Madam Genie takes it, and a turn of foot round the home turn, really, that just left the others a little bit flat footed, and takes it pretty cosily, I meaning he's down at one point as well, and still wins by three or four lengths. He'll break out second. And by Royal Decree third. Let's take a look at the full list as they finish well strung out. It's Madame Genie for Craig Allen, the winner. Breakout was second for Leon Van Rensburg. By Royal Decree, Joshua Sutherland third. Heartbreak Hotel, Paul Rhodes fourth. And Southwark Sociable for David Robertson was fifth.